Dave Gallifrey. So, now that I'm starting to watch season 9 of Doctor Who, because I gotta binge watch that shit. I got a bunch of shows to binge watch, even yet. Yeah, I do have a lot of. I still haven't seen Game of Thrones yet. What the fuck? And everyone's telling me about the Red Wedding and all that shit. But yeah, anyways, back to what we're doing now a reaction to Doctor Who, 17 references into the other TV shows. Only one I can think of is. Futurama when they do their shit. It's pretty cool though And I don't know where else I may have missed out on a bunch, but anyways, let's start this shit Ah, the TARDIS Oh yeah, the Big Bang Theory. How can I forget that? Since we've lived in this apartment, I have awakened at 6.15, poured myself a bowl of cereal, added a quarter cup of 2% milk, sat on this end of this couch, turned on BBC America, and watched... Oh, Doctor fucking Sheldon. A TARDIS makes no sense. It's a time machine from a science fiction show. It has nothing to do with Halloween. That being said, if you don't get a TARDIS, you stink and your party stinks. <laughs> Everybody wants a TARDIS. For someone who has a machine that can travel anywhere in time and space, Doctor Who sure does have a thing for modern day London. Indeed. <laughs> Careful, it's that kind of sass that can get a person uninvited to this year's WhoCon. If I didn't have you, life would be blue. I'd be Doctor Who without the TARDIS. <laughs> Hang on, why do we have to hate it? Three words, Doctor Who convention. <laughs> I did not force you to go to that. You walked out of the house in a fez and bow tie. I went so you didn't get beat up. <laughs> bow ties are cool, and so is a fez. Ah, Futurama. They have some good references. Oh, they had one more. I know they had one more in there. We have only 20 minutes left. Send in the esteemed representatives of television. Ah, it's been a while since I've seen this. Hey, hey! Now this is my Now I understand this. This is such a cool show. I need to watch this. Emergency defense, or shed for short. I think we're gonna need something a little bigger. Oh, the rustic exterior is a facade. Wait till you see the inside. Oh man, you guys are good. Just a little British sci-fi technology. <laughs> so far, huh? It's been a while. Oh, this must be a new episode. Hey, whoa! You can't go that way. Taking comedy to the next level. The extermination of all biological life on Earth. What? It is the ultimate joke. Humans make comedy. Humans build robots. Robots ends all life on Earth. Oh, I've seen this. It's been a while. Exterminate. Exterminate. House. Really? What is it with you and this kid? He's doggy paddling. Sea of misery. I remember what it's like. Before you have to reach back for that memory. Last night. Sometimes I hear you in the living room watching TV at 3 a.m. That's when classic Doctor Who comes on the BBC. <laughs> yeah, if only they had some device that allowed you to record them and watch them another time. Am I the only one that wants to see Hugh Glory play the Doctor one day? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Bean. Uh, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen this. It's awesome. Man, 
hyperspace always looks so freaky. <laughs> oh, I missed out on this one. I missed this fucking show. Are they gonna make a movie or not? I thought those blowdowns had us dead to rights. What on beta earth did it's Spectre space time? Questions of what they want from us, constable. But when? Inspector, look out! Blowguns! Take that, blog on scum. How old are you guys? Troy and I'll be in the morning. But when old we are. <laughs> this is a David Billion show, right? Did you guys find out what this device was? Oh, yes, it is. Now I've got a reason to watch this now. What were you expecting, Cassie? Time travel device? Doctor Who's side screwdriver? You watch Doctor Who? Who doesn't watch Doctor Who? Doctor Who, man. Everybody needs to know about a Doctor Who. How did you find me? You dropped this. Amy Pond, huh? Cute name. Amy Pond? <laughs> Only true movies know this that This box joke. was designed to serve as a Zygon-rated quarantine facility. We're perfectly safe. I'm Commander Benton. This is Specialist Harriet. Bottom line, Mr. Uh, Lethbridge Stewart, if that is your name. I'm guessing that's from Classic Who. Did I'm so dry and watch that show? Paddington Bear? For Indy. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> hey, are you picking up souvenirs for people? Apparently so. <laughs> Just spit it out. Could you give me a TARDIS? A what? Yeah, from Doctor Who. Uh, yes, I, I know what a TARDIS is. I just didn't think that you were a Doctor Who fan. Why not? Look at you, take off noises and everything. Mm -hmm. A TARDIS. It, it's a police box. Just a oh, policeman at the police post. Oh, hey, you will never guess who was a closet Doctor Who geek. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see the show. Not, well, every one of these things I need to watch. Let's see. We got uh, Peter Davison, Sylvester McCoy, and I have a Tom Baker. Oh, yeah, I have a Baker, Sarah Jane. Perfect. I'm not gonna ask you, man and wife. I got to kiss that brat. Uh, Criminal Minds, I love this show. It's so, it fucks you up in the head. <laughs> With all the overkill on Warner, there's gotta be a personal connection. We've located John Owen, the missing employee. He's been at a Doctor Who convention in San Diego since Saturday. It was a scheduled vacation. Lucky guy. All Fat Tony in, in his real life. Not something stranger than a time traveling police box. Rugrats? They had one? Ah, there we go. And again, Chucky is always bitching. Cause that's what he does! Oh, definitely subscribe for more Doctor Who. I love me some Doctor Who. Man, I would so love a TARDIS. You know, no. I would like it to be like that Big Bang Theory episode where like they got the TARDIS doors to be put in your bedroom. That's what, I'm a geek, I want that. I want someone to build a TARDIS front door in my apartment. That way outside the apartment it'll be like a TARDIS and you go inside and it's all big and shit. That'd be fucking cool. And my neighbors would be so fucking jealous or some of them were wondering, what the fuck is this kid on? That'd be fucking amazing. That's, I'm gonna try and do that one day. If I'm, wait, I own my apartment so I can do whatever I want to it, I guess. I don't rent it so I gotta look into this shit. Anyways. That got me an idea. Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid freak out. Bye.
vivir así.